What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are playing some wrong country challenge on Community World. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Essentially, it's quite simple. You just have to guess in the wrong country and get as many points as you can. It's quite seed dependent, but also getting the right luck and making it all work together is so fun. So it really makes it worth chasing the right seed. And so this one, we have two languages on the street signs here. So this one should be somewhere in Finland, which sometimes is bilingual for Span uh, Swedish and Finnish, so I'm thinking we should probably click on some kind of a Swedish island here to get as close as we can. Uh, it's definitely on this coast here where you normally get the biling bilinguality, so I think this is probably the best option here. I mean, that's about as close as we can get. Uh, either there or Suns Sundsvall. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go on the southern though. Oh man, it was all the way up there. Okay, so 4,000 points is workable. Next one here should be somewhere in Ghana. That's actually pretty good. I, I could expect like a, you know, like a guess around here in Togo could be pretty nice. I, I would expect around there somewhere. And uh, yeah, 103 kilometers away. That was about as good as we could have done. Okay, nice. Next one, South Africa. It should be northern, so that's not so bad. It could have been terrible if we were in like Cape Town or something. But as for this one, I could, I could definitely see like a guess in... Uh, in Mozambique or Zimbabwe working here the best. Uh, and it could even be like Eswatini. You know what? Maybe even Eswatini works quite nicely here. I think I'll go for that. And it ends up being south of Eswatini. So again, 4,000 points, not terrible. Uh, probably could have worked that out better. And this is good because we're in Lesotho, tiny country. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be in the east of Lesotho. So I guess over here would certainly work nicely, I think. And uh, yeah, that's about as close as we could have gotten. Okay. This is turning into a really good first seed. I'm, I'm actually surprised. And we're in uh, Guatemala. So we're going to continue on with our luck here. Uh, Guatemalan flag and the car. Um, this one should be somewhere around Guatemala City. So I could see like a San Salvador or an El Salvador guess working nicely here. Either that, it could be near the Mexican border as well. It's going to be like somewhere in the south of the country though. I'm pretty satisfied with just a San Salvador, El Salvador kind of hedge here. Ends up being central like I thought it might be, so a 22,000 to start us off with. Very nice. I wish I paid more attention on the Finland round, but apart from that, happy with everything. So uh, let's see if we can get 23k, but that's a really, really nice way to start off the video. Uh, and we, we were very fortunate with the seed as well. So this one should be somewhere like around Kisumu or something like that in Kenya. Um, I can certainly see that. I think I think just a border guess in Uganda or or Tanzania here is best. But I'm gonna go for Uganda. Ends up being yeah near Nakuru, so not terrible. 4.4. Next one here is gonna be somewhere in Argentina. I thought Argentina. Wait, am I wrong? Is this just Europe? Um, we got single. We got double yellow lines in the center. That turning should be fitting for yeah. This is an Argentinian pole top. Okay, good. Uh, that's not exactly a good sign though. I think Uruguay just has to be the best option here. And I would say Southern Uruguay probably is somewhere in this like Santa Fe down to Tandil kind of area. So let's try that. Ends up being not too bad. Okay, 3.6, we'll take it. Next one here is in Spain. And uh, I think it might be more on the Portuguese side. So I'm just gonna slam it in kind of central here. I mean, we're not on the best score ever here. So we don't have to try too hard, but that was good. That was good. And this one is Nigeria and uh, black follow car so it should be i'm pretty sure black follow car is like in lagos or or is it benin city so i think this is going to be the best guess no matter what but i think this is lagos anyway oh no we do have red soil so yeah should be benin city in which case this is the best and okay it was just up a lagos so that's pretty good actually that's a good score and so we are still in contention for 23k here but single yellow line okay where is this sun is more so to the north we should be in argentina here again which is interesting single yellow line is not common over there. And so I would say this is a similar area again. This time I could see it, yeah, just being a similar kind of area, to be honest. So, um, is, could it be further north? Yes, but I think it's just summertime and that's why it looks so dry. And okay, that was pretty close. So we end up with a 21,000 again. Very solid there, very solid there. That was pretty much the best guess we could have made both times as well. So Argentina is not exactly a lucky country to get, but it's much better than Australia or New Zealand for sure. Okay, so next one here, water for a sec. Um, this should be somewhere in the Americas, of course. Uh, it's looking like Colombia to me, I think. Street signs are interesting though. Maybe this is actually just Mexico. Yeah, I think that definitely reminds me more of like Mexican to me. Okay, what are these poles about though? Interesting light poles here. That seems Mexican. Okay, so why haven't I worked this out yet? Kind of looks like Guatemala, but obviously it's not without the car. Uh, Okay, we can't see any number plates either. That's kind of the problem here. I think it's Mexico though. 
And of course, oh, there's a Mexican flag. So of course, Mexico is not exactly the country you want to see, but I would say it's more Southern. So I'm going to go for Guat here. And yeah, it's not actually very good. Okay, we restart that. Not to worry, at least it happened early in the round. And I mean, 3000 points is fine, but we want to go for a really super score here. So this one should be USA. And I was thinking more Southern, but eh, the longer I look at it, the more I think it's actually Northern. So I might just go for that kind of Ontario hedge and just hope we get lucky here. And yeah, it was just in St. Louis, so it was never going to be the best score there. Next one here is Taiwan. Obviously not the best news for getting a good score. We basically have to hope that it's on one of the tiny islands here. So let's just go here. And it was not. 4,300. We'll take it. Okay. It's not actually that bad. Not as bad as I thought. Our next one here is going to be somewhere in. I'm actually not too sure here. I thought Thailand. I thought Thailand. Left hand drive it seems. So could this be northern Thailand? I think so. We have a lot of eucalyptus. It could even be further south. No palms, though. I think I like fairly northern here. I'm going to go, like, here in Myanmar. Okay, it was actually on the border between the two countries, as I thought. So a really high score was possible there, but we, we take 4K. It's okay. Next one here is going to be somewhere in Alaska, is my first thought here. Pretty sure this is Alaska, actually. Um, and that is not a terrible site, because we can always go in Yukon. And I would say just somewhere here is probably best. I would say it's probably going to be near Anchorage. Oh, wow. We even guessed in the right country, so that's an immediate fail. I was all the way down there. Um, maybe if I was paying more attention, I could have gotten that, but... We weren't on the best score anyway, so it's okay. So next one here... Language? Is that Thai? I think it is. That would make sense with the Google car here and the plate. I was thinking Peninsula for this one as well, you know. So I think I might just go, like, all the way down here. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Man, it ends up being just near Bangkok. I mean, we couldn't have gotten the best score, but obviously Cambodia was better. The next one here, is it even worth continuing? Uh, I think this might be South Africa. Yeah, should be South Africa. The blue plate would indicate that we're probably somewhere around Hauteng. So I guess Gaborone is probably working best here or Eswatini. What do I think actually? It's quite dry. So I think I'll go for the Gaborone kind of hedge here. Yeah, ends up being, okay, all the way down there. I think they use blue plates in that state as well, actually. Uh, but yeah, 3.7. Always, always going to be a tough round there, although Lesotho could have worked nicely. Okay, this one is going to be Czechia or Slovakia. Uh, house numbers, can we see any? Because that can often help you get the distinction. Because obviously big points are on offer here. Unfortunately, no house numbers really in view. That is unfortunate indeed. Okay. Oh, uh, it's Generation 3, so that does not really help us. I think it looks more like Slovakia, right? Um, it gives me that vibe, I would say. That is that a house number? It's kind of too hard to tell. Um, but, okay, I think I do prefer Slovakia here, in which case maybe a southern Poland on the border could work nicely. Let's see it. Okay, not too bad. Actually, Czechia was closer, but 4.7 is nothing to complain about. Next one, we're back in the same region of the world. I think this one might, might be Czechia. Uh, ooh. Is that a particularly Czech last name? I'm not so sure. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the round. It could still be like Hungary or something here, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, nothing too helpful, actually. That is a little concerning. The, the, the house numbers are definitely more Czech than Slovak, I could say that. But yeah, okay. I think it's Southern Czech or something like that, to be honest. Um, I would love, like, something unique, but I don't think we've actually got anything too unique here. Winter coverage, Generation 4, yeah, okay. I think I'm decided on Czechia, and as I said, I think we might actually just go in northern Austria here. It's fairly flat. Um, what language do we have here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is not German. I'm just a little worried that it could be... That actually kind of looks like German to me. Gern Gernhard. It's not a German last name, but the first name is very German, to be honest. You know what? I think it also says Strasse there. I think we're in northern Austria instead, so I think we're going to guess on the Czech side of the border this time. Uh, and you know what? Actually, it kind of reminded me of v Viennese house numbers, so I might try that instead. Okay, yes, what a guess. Let's go. 21 kilometers away. That's a guess of the video so far. Well, worked out. Sometimes some language really helps. Okay, this one is going to be somewhere in Denmark. Another good sign. Hey, we're on a banging score left. Let's uh, let's actually work this out. Okay, so we are Krogage and Tin. Obviously, we want it to be somewhere around here. If it will be or not, I'm not sure. Uh, do we have any road number or anything like that? And we've got Kjerbik. Okay. Uh, it's definitely, obviously, definitely in Denmark, but 
it's fairly flat. Um, I think I do like this part of the country quite well. Um, but yeah, somewhere in Finland, I mean, in Sweden, surely making the most sense here. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm, I am I guess we could search for those towns. We are a really good score, so I think we should actually just give it a quick search. So let's see now. We can put those up there. Yeah, I keep on seeing similar names, but nothing quite the same. So we're not going to lose too many points here anyway, and it was probably about the best we could do. Obviously, Germany was better, actually, but 4.3. It's okay. So we can still get that 23k. Absolutely. Oh, no. It's Australia. And it's going to be New South Wales, I believe, which is just terrible. Okay. Um, you know what? It's Australia. Let's 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 say in Australia you're allowed to guess in the wrong state. <laughs> I'm, I'm bending the rules. I'm bending the rules. Wrong country challenge. Well, Australia's just too far away, man. You just can't you can't do anything right. So maybe Canberra here works nicely. I think Canberra here is a nice little hedge. Let's try that. And wow, it was actually Victoria. So glad we didn't guess there, but 3.5. Okay. <laughs> and the last one's going to be somewhere in, I thought Argentina way south, right? Actually, we got monkey puzzle trees here. So that is normally lining you up to around like the Santiago Mendoza area. So I think I will guess in maybe a little further south from there or something like that. I think that makes sense. Could be like in this kind of region here. Where is a lot of national park? I mean, there's a lot of national park around here. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. And so we see big mountains as well. We're on a lake. Honestly, it's probably findable. Uh, that is clearly not it, but you know, it's, it's yeah, it's probably well findable to be honest. Uh, okay, we see some stuff like that over here. Again, again, no roads. Okay, maybe over here. I think I will go there and uh, trust the monkey puzzle trees, which is a pretty cool meta, very unique looking tree. Let's see it. It ends up being a fantastic guess, 80 kilometers away. Man, imagine if there was no Australia there. Just imagine, that would have been so cool uh, because these two guesses were fire, the Denmark was okay, and uh, the Argentina was fantastic as well. So we've been super consistent this video. I think you can, I think you can definitely agree. Um, and so definitely nice to use the monkey puzzle meta as well. Obviously we're starting off with the, uh, South Australia here. And uh, I think we can, we can get a nice score um, by going like this, but yeah, it depends if we want to use the rule or not. I mean, I, I think it's best to just restart. Uh, so next one here, let's see how we do. And so it's looking like a Com Colombian cross there, maybe. Oh, I could certainly see that. Yep, that's a uh, Cambodia, uh, Colombian uh, exclusive car with a black car with a stubby antenna. And uh, okay, obviously not the best news. I think we should guess in Ecuador here and just up here somewhere maybe. And okay, ends up being a nice guess. 200 kilometers away, we'll take that. Next one is gonna be somewhere in Kyrgyzstan. That's pretty good news. Uh, we've got the dirty mirror, but it's not the Southern mirror. Okay, good to know. Uh, it's mountains all sides of us here actually. So I was kind of thinking this might be kind of out in this region here maybe, um, or in this region out here, somewhere out here. Otherwise it could be like Tomok or even somewhere over here, but I think I'll go for that. Like, that's what I was thinking. Okay, it was end, ends up over here. So that must be right where the uh, where, where the mirrors change over. But yeah, I mean, 3.8, it's okay. Uh, this one is gonna be somewhere in, uh, I thought Argy, but actually it might be Bolivia, hey? Uh, we definitely don't see any Argy plates. So I think it is Bolivia and why not just guess Titicaca here? I think it's probably, probably the, the most sense. So let's go there. And it was, yeah, just central Bolivia, 4.1. It's going to be a good score here if we don't get screwed over. Yeah, um, but nothing incredible. Let's go this time. Actually, I think, again, it's Buenos Aires area, maybe. Oh, I was thinking more northern at the, at the start, but uh, screwed it up a bit. And the final one would have been Mexico anyway, so no chance for massive points here. Regardless, I'll go on Belize this time. Ends up being all the way up there. Okay, so actually could have been a good score there, but unfortunately kind of fumbled the bag there. Uh, the RG one was always going to be difficult, but I think 23k was possible with perfect guesses. Okay, this one's Hokkaido. So Sakhalin, how close is it? It's pretty close. I think we can actually pull some nice points by guessing there. Kuril Islands, not really an option. So let's just go there. And it was nice. It was Northern, so 4.1. And we can play that on. Next one here is going to be somewhere in 
Indo, which is bad. I think it's actually Northern Sumatra with this car though, with the uh, black paint as well. So I think actually somewhere near Madan makes sense here. So if we guess here, that's actually not too bad for points. Yeah, not too bad for points, 4.1 again. Okay, nice. And now we're on New Zealand and I'm gonna say we can guess on the opposite island. I'm thinking this is North Island to be honest. So, well, to be honest, it could be south. I'm gonna go north though. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go south because I think it's north. And yeah, it was north. Okay, yeah, we can restart. This is this is not gonna be an, an any incredible score. And uh, obviously we had to cheat a little bit as well. So, okay, first location here. Uh, this one will be somewhere in, I was thinking Lith, right? I think it might be Lithuania. Yeah, we got lots of little blurs, so that definitely makes sense. Uh, that's a good start, that's a good start. Okay, so where do I think this might be? Uh, maybe feels like close to the Polish border. So maybe something like this probably makes sense. And yes, that's about as good as possible. Nice. 4.8k there. This one's going to be Philippines. That's no good. That's definitely no good. Um, hmm. Um, yeah, okay. It's Philippines and that is just terrible. So the best we can get here is probably, I would say it's probably Southern this one. So I think it's probably just going to be somewhere in here. We'll see it. Yeah, that's about as good as we could have gotten maybe southern Taiwan. But yeah, unfortunate after such a nice start that we have to end it there. But that's the way the game goes. So this one has some potential. We're on the kind of east coast of Turkey. But of course, Rhodes is very close to some of these places. So uh, at least I'm thinking. So let's see if we can find them. And so looking for some of the bigger names here. I'm actually not too good with Turkey at all, so just trying to see if I can see anything. Is, is any of these places close to Rhodes is, is the question I really have. I think a lot of these are actually Turkish speaking, so Adil, Aydin? Hmm. Okay, well, I have searched for a good amount of time here and I cannot find the place. So I'm thinking we just guess on one of these Greek islands here and call it a day, really. Um. Yeah, I'm just not sure. I really, I really gave a good search, I feel. Uh, but I'm just going to pick somewhere with a lot of, like, east coastline here, like we have in this location. I'm really hoping it's not a lake or something. I'm pretty sure this is the ocean with a kind of land body out here. So, so hopefully some of this makes sense. I mean, if this is Greece, yeah, I think this is Greece. So we can go there. Let's try it. And, oh, wow. That was a uh, really nice guess, to be honest. <laughs> we kind of lucked out there. I mean, I don't know how I didn't find this, but I think some of these place names were quite small that we could see on the uh, signs there. So best possible outcome there. Okay, good for round one. Shouldn't have really spent so, mu so much time looking on round one, uh, but this one should be Baltic. So all we have to do is pick the wrong country here. I don't really think it feels Lithuanian. So I think I'll guess there. I think I would probably put this more on Estonia or Latvia. So yeah, I think I'll, well, if we want it to be extra short, we can just go in uh, Kaliningrad, but I think I've got to go for the uh, kind of nicer guess here. Let's go inside Lithuania here. And it was just in Latvia and really close as well. So that's really nice. Very good. Uh, next one is in Taiwan, which is not the end of the world as we discovered. Uh, I'm not sure where, okay. So I think it goes 09 number. So I think that would make a Southern, I think. Let's see if we can see another 09 number, shall we? Uh, mm, that's too hard to read. It looks like it says 03 or something. Okay. Uh, and this, okay. So Taiwan, normally you can see quite a number of phone numbers. That's 09 for sure. So yeah, I think this might be Southern in the country, in which case, well, it's kind of unlucky. Uh, that island I think would be Taiwanese. These are the Japanese ones. So yeah, we could always go here. I think actually though that China is going to be slightly closer here, like that kind of guess there. So unfortunately, I think we have to do that. And okay, it was Northern. So man, we could have actually had a better score than we did. Unfortunate. Okay, we're still on track for a good one here. Although this one looks like it might be somewhere in Indo, which is no good. I think East Timor actually, you know, it it uh, it could be an East Timor guess that gets us over the line here. Something like this, I think is actually quite legit because I think it's going to be one of these islands, if not Timor itself. So, oh uh, yeah, because it's so dry, I think that really makes sense. Take a look at these poles. I think it's actually going to be Timor itself, which is actually fire. So I think I'll just guess here and uh, hope for a good score. We'll see it. And, oh man, it was just Surabaya. Wow, the uh, Ma Madura Island. Wow, did not expect that. I've never seen around like that there. I'm confident of it. But anyway, okay, not to, not to worry. We can, we can still get a decent score here overall. Uh, private property in North America should be somewhere in Quebec, I imagine. We've got ocean to the south there. 
And so I guess, I guess we just go in main here. I think that's probably the best we can do unless we're in St. Pierre. That could also kind of work, but I think we're going to be closer here. And so, yeah, 139 kilometers away. Again, a good result. So a 20,000, but a heroic 20,000 considering the uh, tough circumstances we had. I mean, this was still about the best guess we could have done, surprisingly. I mean, maybe Christmas Island was slightly better. Yeah, but you know, just, just really, really tough there. Okay, so let's do one more good seed to end off the video here, but definitely have a lot of fun filming this, that's for sure. Uh, this one is going to be somewhere in, uh, I guess it has to be uh, Denmark here. Yeah? Rockwall, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Skofsgard, uh, I don't know where that's going to be, but I would say that Perhaps this is kind of on the on the bigger part. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm thinking of guessing like Gothenburg here. And okay, it was all the way down there. So a German guess would have been much nicer again. I'm going to reset on 4.1 there because I want a better start. So this one should be somewhere in Switzerland, which I like. Is it German? Or do we have any German? Is my question here. Because if, if we have French, we can get a really nice score. As it stands, I think the houses look pretty German. So I think I will just guess in Germany here near Zurich. Man, it was so mountainous. I should I should have really clicked on Ital Italian side, but uh, we get lucky and we get just a pretty good score. And this one's Japan, which is no good. Feels fairly north and looks like we have a bit of cabbage on the side of the road, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I guess the best thing we can do is here is something like this kind of Russia. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. It's going to be like around there. Yeah. Okay. So 3.3. We'll reset. We want a bit. We want all bit. One. We want at least let the first two rounds to be good, because that then after that it's kind of you, you leave it inside GeoGuess's hands after. But for this one, I'm gonna go Switzerland. I think it feels fairly like central in France to me, and it was about the best guess we could have done apart from Spain. But yeah, no good. Okay. Next one here is going to be somewhere in Europe. And where? Okay, I think it's France again. Maybe even a similar region. Oh, is that? No, those look like the, uh, are they the French hunting signs or the Portuguese ones? I think the whole round looked a bit more French to me, in all honesty, but we can guess Spain and kind of hedge between the two. I think it's going to be like a similar region in France. Yeah, okay, nice. Very nice. They look similar to the Portuguese ones, those. And we're in Russia. Great. Um, oh no, are we? I think this actually might be in Lith then. Is it Lithuania? I think it is. I think it is. I think the Poles are Soviet, but we don't have Cyrillic, so that would probably make sense. And we have a few little blurs here and there. Also makes sense. So I'm thinking of going in Belarus here, honestly. I'm going to try that. Oh, nice. Dude, we could have gotten an insane score there, but still, our Belarus guess is good. This one's um, Mexico and fairly close to the north. I kind of like just around here. Uh, let's go, like, it's, it's probably in Nuevo Leon, so, uh, yeah, I think that kind of makes a lot of sense here. Otherwise, we're up here, in which case we're going to get wrecked on score. Uh, I, I definitely preferred around here, but, yeah, I guess we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And, okay, it was nice, very good, basically a perfect score. Next one here is in Finland, and uh, Norway, and I think it's super fun north. Although I got that wrong in the tournament yet, uh, the other day, so... Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's a super fun author, right? It definitely appears that way, but yeah, I'm less confident now than, than I was the other day. I think I'm going to go up here, and I think I'm going to go even up here. I think I even might be like this region over here, so I'm going to try that. And well, okay, okay, we would have been better off here over here, but it's still fine. And so the last round of the video here should be somewhere in Germany. Uh, yes, that's German. And I was thinking Southern here gave me a Southern vibe, I must say, which is good, which is good. We can, can probably get in a close country here. Munich is possible. I kind of maybe like Nuremberg, which would lead us to go in Czechia, but maybe I should just go Munich here. doesn't seem like we're going to get anything there apart from a phone number, which I don't know. So I will go for Southern here. And we were in Nuremberg, damn it. Uh, but we get 22,000 again. What a great way to end off the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys in a video very soon. And yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for getting through it. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Bye.